Okay, so I have my little scene here. I have a sky dome. And what I'm going to do is through my viewport or my camera that I'm looking through, I'm going to press this A. And this is going to do that IPR through this camera. This is doing its best to render this. That's why it's really, really blurry. Now it's rendering. You can see my loading bar based on the samples that I have set. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a denoiser. This is under Arnold Renderer all the way down to Imagers. We're going to add Imager. And I am going to do denoiser optics. This is NVIDIA's AI denoiser. This is going to go through calculate once that's why everything was black now we're good to go we can enable or disable this you'll notice in my attribute editor this is just enabling disabling let's zoom out see what happens you'll notice things got a little bit blurry that's the denoising happening so this is the render without it everything's like grainy the entire time as it's like cleaning up still a little bit grainy there now the render is done based on my sample settings and let's do that same thing except with the render enabled, you'll notice, oh, okay. So the AI is just trying to smooth all these pixels uh, and make best guesses, smooth things out so I can have a better idea of what the product's gonna look like more quickly. So let's take this one step further. Let's go to system and render device. Instead of CPU, I'm gonna change this to GPU. Now your mileage may vary. You can see how long that my CPU takes. I just zoom in, zoom out. There's a loading bar. You know, it takes uh, eight, 10 seconds, something like that, based on my system and my settings here. I'm gonna change this to GPU. And for this example, I'm gonna press enable manual device, and then I can click my graphics card right here. Now I'm rendering with the graphics card. So this is within a second, it's done rendering based on my samples once again. Now, one thing to note is if I go back to Arnold Renderer, my samples, everything looks different. In GPU, typically you're gonna to have to use more samples if you're actually rendering. I'm just kind of just setting up some lights here. So I'm not too worried about that. And we still have our denoising on. So this makes it lightning fast. The denoising is gonna do its job. I can come in here and quickly make alterations, changes, change the light for all the look dev. It's a very, very quick way to do that.